I've had no dummy load in my shack, so I decided to build this useful tool myself. My objectives were to have something built cheap, 50 ohm pure resistance. It should cause no radio frequency interference. It should be able to accept hundreds of watts of power. I came across a prized toilet brush in a metal can on a bargain shelf in a superstore. Brush was removed, measurements mar marked on the metal can and the lid. Then, cut, uh, then can was cut uh, in two pieces and it was shortened to about 8 cm height. Eight holes were drilled through the can and to the lid to rivet them together later. Another hole was drilled at the bottom for oil to go in. A hole in the lid was enlarged to 15 mm to accept a standard radio socket. The paint was removed for the soldier to be done later. All inside the can and the lid is fluid proofed with a red silicon gasket maker. And here it is socket in place and uh, silicon around it. The load itself consists of 20 pieces of 1 kilo ohm non inductive carbon film resistors connected in parallel. That equals to 50 ohms in total. There are two copper wire rings and the resistor soldiered between them. That arrangement should allow for even and efficient temperature transfer inside the can. Resistor net is soldiered to the connector and lid itself and silicon is used again to prevent oil leak through the socket. The oil filling port is made of a nut and a screw. A nut is fixed into position using epoxy putty. The rest of epoxy putty is used to fill other gaps and cracks in the bottom of the can. After that, the can inside is sealed with silicon. The silicon is applied to the edge of the can and around inside of the lid. Both are put together and then secured with eight rivets around the lid. Here it is, rivets and the silicon sealing the lid. Then quick resistance is checked to confirm no shortcuts. All is left for 24 hours for silicon to set. A can is filled with 450 ml of baby oil. Filling hole is plugged with a screw and then the screw around is sealed with silicon. All painted rather carelessly with some random leftover sprayed spray pan paint. That job is done. I would expect it to handle 300 watts easily, possibly more.